back after missing four games prior to that because of a concussion in practice on December 29th for the shoot around. The opening tip controlled by NC State, D3. Shot 47% as a team against visiting Miami. On the board with Markel Johnson and a three. They've got some quality wins on their resume for sure. They go inside for the double-fisted hammer. Many Bates. He was limited to just three points on one of two shooting in 29 minutes against Duke. Sims challenging that NC State D, and he wins the fight. He's going to the free throw line. Yeah, here's the look. I mean, you, just, you can see they really, they really spread the floor. Sims the ability to take the ball off the bounce, get to the rim, and finish the play. Sims trying to back his way down with the shot clock going inside of 10 now at 5. Sims baseline over his defender for two. Tigers never led in regulation, Mike. It was 2-2 two to two and 70-70 to 70 in regulation, and then they won it for the OT. Here's Sims up and under on the cut. Talks about his mid-range game. He can't shoot the three. And uh, Merkel's been a little up and down recently offensively. Lack of consistency. Look at Sims extending the range, and he's ripping ropes for the Tigers. It's an 11-0 run for Clemson. From the floor have made their last four shots. Last field goal for NC State at the 17-14 mark. In traffic off the glass, Devin Daniels. Tigers shot 57% as a team, Mike, in that win against number three, Duke. And Tuesday, hesitation and drive. Trap and a foul. So the Tigers are happy to see Trap in the box score, Mike, as Sims follows his own miss. Uh, just, uh, you know, with base and shot block games last season for the pack. Inside, it'll drop. Thunderbird fights off the contact. NC State picked it up in the second half against Miami. 64% shooting. Johnson glides to the rim and lays it in. Three point miss out of the corner for Mack. At the end of the track clock, good defensive stand by Thompson. Second effort from Mack off his own miss. Johnson, bit of a reset as he steps back. Doesn't have a lot of time. Daniels, two on the shot clock, and he rattles it home. Devin Daniels at eight points in the first half. The largest lead of the first half for the Wolfpack. Scott in traffic. Thunderbird with checks it. Well, we talked about base, but Thunderbird is also a capable shot blocker. Just one of six on three-point attempts for the Tigers. Newman drops it off. Foul on the jam. Well, they got to, you know, he's trying to get Amir Sims a little bit of the blow here in the first, first half. Helms! Third made three of the game for NC State. We like to keep it light here in the ACC. Having a lot of fun with the games this season. They have been so unpredictable. Hello, Newman. As Newman hits the shot, Mike, <laughs> I'll follow that up in the ACC. 25 and 20 starting the day, meaning the visiting teams have the edge as far as winning games. Daniels driving all the way with the lefty scoop. Got 50% as a team in the first half. They'll defend to start the second half against the Tigers. Newman the spin and the hit. Just got this little nugget from Tim Beret, who's the uh, color analyst. And the to force overtime. That included a clutch three-pointer to tie the game at 70. Newman has some daylight. Wow. This is a guy they got to get back involved. Sims. Woo, the cut. Trap had it knocked away. Johnson. Three players around him. He finds Bryce for three. Well, it's looked like a couple of times that Markel Johnson has almost drilled himself into trouble in the lane. Johnson, who had that heroic shot at UNC Greensboro. 
from beyond half court to win that game. He's fouled in the act of shooting in by rule is going to the free throw line. Leads the team in rebounding. Over seven per game. Lost the handle here. Tried to get back to defend Johnson. Couldn't get there in time. Yeah, just over dribble that time by Clyde Trapp. Fifty percent shooting in the game for NC State. They're leading by 12 at halftime. Daniels weaving his way. Comes up short. Tigers hustle to the rim. Foul on the play. Matt filling the lane. Lauren Scott. Graduate student and a transfer from Tulsa. And Sims with a rainbow for three. 15 points. We just showed you the fact that he had not scored much. Oh, Newman went up to block Helms. Underberg on Sims. Ducks under and lays it in. Thunderbird has averaged 18 points per game in the last five this afternoon. Prior to this game out of the corner. Tries to get it into the corner. Hunter got it back. Has to wrestle it away from two Wolfpack players. And Mac is wide open. Well, hustle play. Clock's at eight for C.J. Bryce. Daniels, sharp move to the rim. Thunderbird over the top, and he bounces it home. What a stretch of games he is having, playing with three personal fouls. Double team, passing, Bryce. Well, 11 points, C.J. Bryce. Scott hits the field goal, the first since the 825 mark. Johnson from way outside. Thunderbird offensive glass. 13 points, 11 rebounds. DJ Thunderbird. And that'll fall for the Tigers and Mack. The iron was not pleasant to Daniels. Dawes. Mack trying to bail him out. 29 to go. And we get it to Sims. Trying to work on Thunderbird, got him in the air. Well, I see, in, in front of her, I guess you can kill two. 7-0 Tiger run. Shot clock at two. Beverly makes it. Wow. Turn around. Too strong from Scott. Second chance on the possession, and he hits a three. Salted this game away a little bit earlier, made it a little more interesting than it is, but uh, this should do it. This is Mac with a last second shot. Wouldn't have mattered. 60-54.